Another quick Tomb Raider 1 tutorial. What I'm basically doing here is setting up my old piece of rubbish um, USB controller or my gamepad um, to work with Tomb Raider 1. Um, now the analog stick worked automatically so uh, that that was fine but none of the buttons for the actions worked. Uh, the way I got around this was I found an application called Joy to Key. To find it just type in uh, Joy to Key into Google and uh, the first one here, Joy to Key English version and you just download it from this link here. Now you'll get a zip file so just extract the zip file, run it and you'll get this program and it's very easy to use. All I'm doing here and um, because I've got a D-pad on my controller, um, I put a tick in, use uh, POV switches, which basically enables that. And then you get these additional POV things here. Um, so I just assigned the D-pad to the arrow keys, though again, the analog stick works fine. Um, left, right, up, down, that is the analog stick, so we leave those alone. And uh, for my gamepad, um, I've got button 5, 6, 7 and 8. So that's basically the back buttons which are easiest. Now you can assign any buttons you like. Um, the uh, controls I assigned were control, um, that's the action key. So that's E on most games, most modern games. Space uh, basically fires the gun. Um, alt jumps and escape allows you to exit the menu and skip cutscenes. And that's all the basic keys for um, a Tomb Raider 1. Now it gives you a default profile just called my first game up here. Click on rename and give it the Tomb Raider name. And there we go. Well, I've already called it that, so I don't need to. Um, so once you've renamed it, just rename it Tomb Raider. If you want to create, create additional profiles for other games, simply click on create and type in the name and you can assign everything that way. Uh, and that's about it, really. That will basically allow any standard Windows controller to work. Now if you're not sure which buttons are which um, then under Windows 8 I just go um, joystick, uh, click on settings, uh, click on set up USB controllers. So if you go to control panel on Windows um, Vista or 7 and click on set up um, USB game controllers then you'll basically get that and as you see my U my USB stick is there and it's all set up so I just click on properties and then all I gotta do is press my buttons and they basically light up um, on screen here so I know which one's which uh, and that's about it really so that's how you can identify the buttons that's how you can assign them all so I'll quickly show it running in game So I'll just run it. Now, as you can see, I've already um, put, brought it down in resolution. Well, I've actually increased the resolution, and um, there we go. So I've increased the resolution um, and put it into Windows mode. So uh, that basically skips the whole um, Windows Start key. Ignore the sound problems and the slow graphics. That's simply because I'm using capture software and it interferes. Um, so anyway, I'm using the control pad completely now. I'm just using button. Uh, uh, well, I think it was button 5 I'm using there to load the game. Um, I'm not using the keyboard at all. And as you can see, I can run around, I can jump, I can draw out my weapons, and I can go shoot some wolves. So there we go, there my uh, gamepad is working and I can also ac access the menus, that's the escape key and I can navigate through them using the standard um, analog controller and basically I can do everything um, I need to do within Tomb Raider.